Hello guys, welcome to the Savvy Professor and in today's video, I am going to show you how to add predecessors in Smartsheet. Now we're just going to go here in my sheet and as you can see, I have here the primary column, I have the start date and the end date. Now once you have the start date and the end date, you can just go ahead to your primary column. It is the one that has this kind of like eye inside the circle. You're going to right click this one and you're going to hit edit project settings. And then here you're going to enable dependencies click OK and then we're going to go and see here that there is a predecessors already so we're going to go ahead and click OK alright so predecessor is a little bit far so we're just going to basically delete some of them so I'm going to remove uh, column 4 5 and 6 going to right click and going to click here delete column all right so as you can see now we have predecessors and duration now in order for you to add a predecessor really what you're going to do is you're going to have to set the start date first say for example this one here I'm going to start with save 24 and then for the end date I'm going to just basically select uh, say for example uh, 27 okay so there are three days planning for the execute however it's going to be a bit different we're going to go here and add a predecessor we're going to click this edit button here we're going to choose row number two and then we can set the type here now what we want is that after row two or after the planning execution is going to start so we are going to set here finish to start so row two has to be done first before we are going to start row number three all right, and then you have here lag. Say, for example, the lag is going to be, uh, let's say, one day. Okay, then we're going to click OK. All right, there you go. So as you can see now, it says here that it is starting or it is going to end at 27. However, Saturday and Sunday is actually a rest day or a non-working day. So that's why on the Monday, all right, the Monday is the one that we have chosen as the lag. Okay, so there is a lag one day, which means they're not going to start working on that particular day. Now, you can see here that they are starting at the 31st. All right, congratulations, everybody. That is how you're going to add the predecessors in Smartsheet.